gentlemen, boys and girls, men and women, this has been an incredible, incredible crusade. Over the past two days has been my opportunity to be in seven different elementary schools in and around your city. We've been talking about a program called No to Say No, making healthy decision making, and all of those skills dealing with things like self-esteem and bullying, and we've had a great time. Tonight, we had a world's largest pizza party, yeah? And we heard about Jesus tonight. That's the most important part, huh? Well, I'll tell you what, I've got one more illusion I would like to show you. It is a trick using two gigantic sticks. It is a very, very old trick. It dates back to the very beginnings of the country we now call China. And it was invented in its day by a very old and a very wise Chinese magician by the name of Fooling Yu. <laughs> now, all fooling toured the land of China, this ancient mystery of two giant sticks and two strings. One string was very long and one string was very short. But when fooling would pull the short end, the long end would go up. He would pull the short end and the long end would go up. And so fooling performed the trick hundreds of times, thrilled many people until one day. One day a little boy came up to fooling. Oh, he was about, uh, he was about this tall. He said, Mr. Illusionist, sir, I know how the trick works. This string is just connected to that string. Oh, no, said Fooling. If that were true, I couldn't pass my hand between the sticks. Actually, he didn't say that exactly. He said something more like, a, with you, with you, with you, with you. but that's beside the point. <laughs> well, the little boy said, no, I don't mean behind here. Everybody knows the string is under your hand. That was when old fooling did indeed show there were no strings attached. The two sticks, the two strings, one long, one short, and vice versa, you see. Huh? Well, that was amazing to many people until one day he was performing the trick and something terrible happened. He pulled a bit too hard and all of a sudden this happened. Yeah. <laughs> What on earth do you do when this happens? Fooling you what to do. He didn't panic. He reached up here on top and he grabbed the end of this string and he pulled it right down to the bottom. He then grabbed a hold of this string and he pulled it right down to the bottom. He then reached up and he grabbed a hold of an invisible frog hair. Scott, do you see the frog hair? Yeah, yeah you're crazy as I am. <laughs> he tied the frog hair around that end and around to that end. He grabbed it on the middle. He gave it a pull and ladies and gentlemen, that is the mystery of the Chinese magical sticks. Wow. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now you, now you. You see Tom was doing the trick one day and it was going swell just like it always did when all of a sudden, dear pastor, all of a sudden this happened. Then all of a sudden this happened. Then old Tom really began to worry. But would it be that one day the whole wide world would be completely and totally filled up with string? When all of a sudden this happened too. <laughs> so what do you do when this happens? Go fishing? Oh no. See, fooling, he decided it was time to consult and talk to the world's greatest illusionist. So I said to fooling, I said, fooling, don't panic when that happens. Reach up here, grab the control knob, give it a turn, and ladies and gentlemen, that is the mystery of the Chinese magic sticks. That is great. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's more. There's more. What on earth does this have to do with the crusade? His name is Jesus. And Jesus Christ holds out in his hand an eternal gift of life. Yes. It is a life abundant and joyous now as it is when we get to heaven. That's it is a free gift of eternal life. He holds it out and he offers it to you. And I ask you tonight, do you have Jesus? Because ladies and gentlemen, it is a gift with no strings. Wow. Okay. Wonderful.